What's up, what's up, Golly Gang? It's Lonnie the Hoogie Healer, and I am back with another prophetic message from our divine creator, Father God. You already know what's up, and if you don't and you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a spiritual life coach, spiritual healer, earth angel, and prophet sent by God to elevate your mind so you can align with the divine and your divine destiny. Now, let's get into this word. Listen, when I was waking up this morning, God just kept saying, because I'm going through a, a storm right now, and I'm going through some spiritual some spiritual things, some, the devil has been trying to use different tactics to try to knock me off of my pivot, to try to make me question myself, to make me question my purpose. But God sent me this word and he said, it is not just for me, it's for you as well. He says, you are different. You are different, says the Lord. And he sent me this scripture as well. He sent me Jeremiah 1, 4 through 5. It reads, the Lord gave me this message. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you were born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet to the nations. Listen, be yourself. You, a lot of you, if you're watching this video, you've been wondering, where do I fit in? Where is my place? How do how do I go in this? Where, where do I go in this thing called life? And God says, it's not for you to figure out where you go. It's for you to make your own spot. Amen. It's for you to find your own place, for you to build your own community, for you to do your own thing, for you to figure it. You don't have to figure out how to do something like others. You don't have to lower your frequency to try to get to people, you need to keep your vibe high and people, if they want to be in your life and people who are on the same alignment, on the same path as you, they will reach up to you or you will align with people who are on your same frequency. God is getting tired of us doing things to try to uh, get the acceptance of other people, to try to get other people to understand us, to try to get other people to even like us because it's not about them. God gave you such a big purpose and such a big calling is over your life that you don't have to worry about where you fit in. Just know that God already reserved a spot for you. I know that's right. He said, God has already reserved a spot for you. I just heard the Lord say that just now. You don't have to worry about where you fit in. You don't have to worry about how you should do something. God is leading your spirit. Listen to your inner wisdom. Listen to your inner knowledge. Listen to your inner knowing and allow God to speak to you. Allow God to lead you. Stop looking for examples in other people because you're, I, I, I know you've noticed this along your journey, but you look for these examples in other people and you end up getting confused and you end up getting, well, this person's doing that and this person's doing that. And, and when I try to do this, it doesn't work. And when I try to do that, it doesn't work. And there's a reason. First of all, know that our God is not a God of confusion. So if anything is confusing you, then it is a tactic of the enemy. The enemy doesn't want you to connect with yourself so deeply that nothing can stop you from knowing who you are. The enemy knows how powerful you are just in yourself with your own mind with your own faith with your own belief so he tries to separate you from your belief systems by showing you a million trillion examples that don't even align with who you are by trying to get you to be somebody else to even even people who you look up to it's okay to be inspired by those people but you shouldn't be inspired to be like them in the midst of in the in the way of doing things the way they do it you should be inspired to reach the levels that they have reached if you are um, looking up to somebody who has a million subscribers that's your inspiration that you want to have a million followers not that i want to do what this person is doing to get one million followers because god has a funny way of doing things and you'll think that if you do that the same way use the same hashtag say the same thing use the same tagline that you're gonna get where you're going and god'll be like Arr! <laughs> Nope, because that's not the path that I have set for you. You are different, says the Lord. Allow yourself to be different. Allow yourself to have your own lane and you stay in your lane and you can drive as fast as you want in your lane and you can go as slow as you need in your lane. You don't have to catch up with anybody. You don't have to mimic anybody. All you have to do is sit with yourself, learn yourself, love yourself and do your 
thing because God created you perfectly. God created you perfectly just the way you are. You are amazing. You are valuable. You are one of a kind. No one else can be you and you don't need to be anybody else to be accepted. You are perfect just the way you are. If you're watching this, I suggest you go listen to some self-love affirmations. Listen to those every morning when you wake up to remind yourself how powerful and amazing and wonderful you are. You are made in God's image. God's got your back. Even if things aren't going as fast as you would like them to, just know that it's going at the pace that is perfect for you. And remember, I love you. God loves you. And I want to thank you so much for all the likes, all the comments, all the subscribes. I want to thank you so much for sharing this video if this video resonated with you. Make sure you comment how this resonated with you. If you are going through a, a struggle, if you are going through a storm, if you are just discovering who you are, or if you are getting through your storm and you have figured out who you are and you're finally implementing who you are and you just want to give somebody a word of encouragement, drop that in the comments and make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss a word from God. Peace!